Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we are going to solve this given radical equation x root of 9 plus x root of 6 equals to x root of 4 and now we are going to find the value of x. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first step we are going to take. Let's go ahead and divide this given equation across the board by x root of 9. So let me go ahead and divide this term by x root of 9. Likewise, I'm going to divide this one by x root of 9 and finally this one by x root of 9 as well. And now let's go ahead and simplify this one. We know this uh, x root of 9 and this x root of 9, they are gone. So we ended up with just simply 1 plus uh, this next term could be written as uh, we can write uh, x root of 6 divided by 9 equals to on the right hand side, uh, this term could be written as uh, x root of 4 divided by 9. And now let's focus on this radicant 6 over 9. If we reduce that thing, that is going to give us a 2 third. And likewise, let's focus on this 4 divided by 9. 4 could be written as a 2 square divided by 9 could be written as 3 square. So therefore, this could be written as 2 divided by 3 whole square. So therefore our this equation could be written as 1 plus uh, x root of uh, 2 divided by 3 equal to x root of uh, 2 over 3 whole square. And now let's recall this basic rule. We can convert this x root as 1 over x. So I can write this one as 1 plus uh, 2 over 3 whole power 1 over x equals to 2 over 3 whole square and then we are going to take a whole power 1 over x and now let's focus on this right hand side this part of the equation and here I have copied it down. And now let's recall this power rule of exponents. According to this rule, we can multiply out these two nested exponents. So therefore we can write this thing as 2 third whole power 2 times 1 over x. And now let's go ahead and apply this power rule once again. So this could be eventually written as 2 third whole power 1 over x and then whole square. Therefore, I'm going to replace this part by this one. And no wonder in this next equation, I have replaced this part by this one. And now let's go ahead and make a substitution to make things simple. We can see this one and this one. I can replace that one by u. So I'm going to say let u equals to 2 third whole power 1 over x. So therefore our this equation could be written as 1 plus u equal to u square. Now let's go ahead and move all these terms on one direction. So therefore this could be written as u square minus u minus 1 equal to 0. And now we can see that this is our quadratic equation and we are going to solve it by using a quadratic formula. And here's our quadratic formula that we will be using to solve this given quadratic equation. And here we can see our a equals to 1 because our this leading coefficient is 1. b is negative 1 because this is negative 1. And the c is negative 1 as well. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this quadratic formula. So u equals to minus b is negative 1 plus r minus square root of negative 1 whole square minus 4 times a is 1. C is negative 1. Everything is divided by 
2 times 1 and here I have simplified this equation it turns out to be u equals to 1 plus or minus square root of 5 divided by 2 and here we have to be careful u must be greater than 0 since u is an exponential function and we know that 1 minus square root of 5 divided by 2 is less than 0 so therefore we are going to reject that one so therefore we are going to get only this positive value of 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 but then we know that u equals to 2 third whole power 1 over x so therefore we are going to compare these two equations so therefore we can write 2 third whole power 1 over x equals to 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 and now let's go ahead and take log on both sides I'm going to take log on this side and going to take log on this side as well and now let's recall this power rule according to this rule we can bring this exponent all the way to the front so therefore we can write this one 1 over x times log of 2 divided by 3 equals to log of 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 and now let's go ahead and divide both sides by log of 2 third on this side and log of 2 third on this side as well and now we can see they are gone so we ended up with 1 over x equals to log of 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 whole divided by log of 2 third and now let's go ahead and flip over these fractions on both sides as you can see in this next equation and now we can see that x divided by 1 is same as x so therefore our x value turns out to be log of 2 third divided by log of 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 and here's our next step let's go ahead and find the value of log of 2 third and likewise log of 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 and now let's recall this logarithmic property we are going to apply on the numerator and on the denominator as well so therefore we can write x equal to for this numerator part is going to become log of 2 minus log of 3 all over now we can apply the property on this one as well so this is going to become log of 1 plus square root of 5 minus log of 2 and now here are the values for log of 2 log of 3 and log of 1 plus square root of 5 now let's go ahead and substitute these values over here so therefore our approximate value of x is going to be simply i'm going to replace that one that's going to be 0 0.3 minus 0 0.477 divided by 0 0.51 minus 0 0.3 now if we simplify this fraction x is approximately turns out to be equal to negative 0 0.843 so thus our solution turns out to be x is approximately equal to negative 0 0.843 thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye